is of Belgium first up, up against the number four seed, Brian Voss. Just sat behind him, composing himself for this first match. Both men chasing the three and a half thousand pounds first prize. And of course, the prestigious com English Open title. And I have to say, Jimmy Rivez looking a little nervous here. And that is not a great opener from the power player from Belgium. And I'm delighted to say alongside me in the commentary booth, former Great Britain international Cass Edwards. Would you agree he just looks a touch nervy? I think I would be, Simon, sitting uh, looking to play against uh, PBA superstar Brian Voss. But you're quite right. Yes, Jimmy is uh, a little tentative with that first shot. And he just made the head pin. He was the four of the eight pin standing, which, which should be, under normal circumstances, a straightforward spare. But unfortunately, he's... Um, the spare ball out. It's pin hard frustratingly for Reves. So already an opening for Brian Voss to work with. You can see the difference in styles. And Voss opens up with a strike. He's gone way right here, Cass. He's spearing it into the pocket, whereas uh, Jimmy's trying to play a little bit more inside. Yeah, Brian is playing the, the drier part of the lane out on the right-hand side. The lane condition is quite heavy in the middle of the lane where Reves is playing, but uh, Brian outside is getting a lot more hook up from the right-hand side. That's crowd being given a real treat here. Watching the 25-time winner on the US Pro Tour, the PBA Tour. And looking to open up with a double, does so. And that is very convincing from Voss. As well, for a 53-year-old. Voss always kept himself in great shape. Now then, Reves, his junior, for nearly 25 years. And the real power player in this match should be able to dictate a little more to the lane condition, shouldn't he? But he needs to find that line and he needs to make it work for doubles. He needs to travel up if he can 41 as well. 41 feet of lane conditioner on the championship pair today. So that leaves 19 feet of back end where the ball can hook up. And the oil is laid down on a four to run one ratio. So it's four times the amount of oil in the middle of the lane than there is on the outside which is where Voss is playing. So the power player will be more in the middle of the lane and he's getting a great reaction. Just shoots a super strike there. There's a double then for Reves, which means that he can forget about that open frame at the start. 2.79, a potential maximum for the man from Belgium. Originally from Anchorage up in Alaska, the same place that uh, Sean Rash, who's doing very well on the PBA at the moment, originated from. Voss way right, in it comes, and it's all very controlled, isn't it? Simon, you're quite right, yes. Brian is playing the outside of the lane. He's done some homework here, and he's realised that the uh, better lane condition is out to the right. He's not going to be in the uh, area of the lane that's been used the most by league bowlers and open bowlers. He's out on the right, getting a much greater reaction and a lot more hook. Turkey, as they call it, three strikes in a row. And it's wonderful to see a man that has bowled so many balls in his career, loving every minute of that one. Great strike and a great start to this uh, first match of the stepladder final. Working on three strikes, looking for a fourth one, obviously. And that is a great looking line and a great looking reaction and some body language that we'd all be proud of. He really is enjoying himself on this uh, championship pair, lane 17 and 18. Here at it's what the crowd have come to see. Brian Voss entertaining, and Reves has to find a way to cope with it, and he's doing a pretty good job so far. Just a slight adjustment there from Reves, but he's still playing pretty much the same line. Yeah, very much deep inside. He's got the got the reaction he's looking for now, and that's three strikes in a row, which does help to cover that initial open frame in frame number one. You sometimes get a deviation, don't you, from one lane to the next, especially when you're bowling a pair in a Lights final like we've got on today. Makes that all move around, as do the very soft bowling balls that these guys are using. They pick up all and move it around. It's in a, in a transition period. Makes a difference to uh, the game in the latter stages. As his favourite bowlers. Well, takes the spare away that time. Only just made the head pin on his first shot, and there you can see he's got the three strikes, but it's that one open frame that is going to cause him the problem. So drops to 2.67 as a maximum. And when you compare that to his opponent, Voss, who's still on for the 300, he 
you can see that Revez is in trouble and well there's not much he can do to influence this other than to try and strike it off the card from there and hope that his opponent loses a bit of rhythm so Voss looking to make it five in a row five it is absolutely classic and look at the body language he really is having a great time out there He's just got these lanes absolutely sorted and how far can he keep going He's in pretty good form. He's had a couple of wins in the last year or so on the European Tour. And the last four games in the qualifying to get to this TV step ladder, he bowled a 258, 211, 247 and 215. So he's averaging around 225, 230. This for six. Oh, no. Leaves the four standing, Cass. And uh, the dream of the 300 is over temporarily. In frame number six. And pretty straightforward from uh, the man from the USA. Yeah, with the lead that Brian Voss has got, staying clean as we say, so making sure that he strikes or spares through to the end of this game will give him the best chance of beating Revez. But you can see the difference that makes to his score. Drops now to a potential maximum of 289. And back to the thinking process of Brian Voss. His game in the lane. Yeah, he'll be trying to beat the lane. That's where the high scores will come. Revez high through the head pin. Oh, and just a lucky man trips that four pin, doesn't he? Just absolutely unbelievable strike that is. We'll have another look at this one. He needs them. He needs strikes, Revez, and he's been shown just a little bit of encouragement by Voss sparing last time out. So these 10 have to go over, but my goodness, that four pin took its time. Better late than never, so they say. <laughs> Drops it in that, Drop. so Revez has to double it here. These 30 pins adrift at the moment, and we're past that. Oh, past the halfway stage, and a 2-4-8-10 split is the last thing that Jimmy wants. Now, just watch this ball. It's hard and fast, just gets away off the hand a bit. It's only just going to hit the head pin and breaks absolutely nothing up. There you can see it just touches it and leaves the 2-8-2-4-8-10, which is likely to be open frame number two for Jimmy. Unfortunately, really came at the wrong time in the game, and unfortunately is his second open frame of the game. That first shot really just didn't get up to the head pin. Threw it right, missed his mark to the right-hand side of the lane. Ball came back hard with the power, just didn't kick the head pin out and left the uh, big split. Two. For this man, Brian Voss, to make an error, but in this sort of form, you just can't see it. Oh, or can you? What? Straight through the head pin from Voss, and he's left himself a horrible split. Simon, he's left the six and the seven pin straight through the face of the number one pin, as you said. Open frame here, and uh, Voss will be on 166, Revez on 133. So there's 33 pins difference, and there's only three frames to go. So to bounce back. Task to put some uh, pins on the scoreboard and keep Revez way back. And again, a classic looking strike from Voss. Down on one knee, absolutely rips the rack. Beautiful looking shot. Welcome home, Brian. Back into the pocket. Talk it down too much. I mean, these guys are still playing very well indeed. And there we go. Back in the pocket for Revez. But this must be a frustrating time for Jimmy because when you see shots like that, I mean, he can. He's got the capability of beating Voss, but he just hasn't produced so good and so lined up. The 25-year-old from Belgium who's had success domestically but as yet hasn't really made his name on the European bowling tour. It's long and hard. And Tempin, not a happy man. Well, unfortunately, this, this shot just makes the headpin, as you can see. It breaks everything up, Double. except the Tempin score won't progress as much as it could do. So confirmation then, I'm afraid. The man from Belgium, Jimmy Revez, is out. One power player down. We've still got Mike Quarry in this stepladder final, so we will see another power player in action as the day goes on. But for the moment, Jimmy Rivers, it's not a good day for him, and Brian Voss from the USA will progress through to stepladder final two. Just having a little bit of an experiment now, just to have a look at this lane now that he knows he's home and dry, Cass, and a good chance to have a look at the reaction in a slightly different area. Also, the opportunity to shoot a different ball in his last frame. We'll give him a, a chance to see what reactions he will get with a new ball, just in case the lane changes later in the tournament, later in the stepladder final. 
touch lucky. Quite, I'm not quite sure what body language that is, but he obviously likes it. Brian Voss and another different ball. Look at this. Yep, change of ball as we suspected. Didn't quite get the reaction, but he's not worried about the score now. The game is won. Just wants to see what reaction that ball will, will do in a different part of the lane, perhaps. And maybe we'll stay with it for game number two. Okay, it's good to see a big name like Voss bowling in the tournament. Absolutely, can't do without people like this. It's really, really great to see the guys coming over from the States and entering the uh, big events in Europe. Ryan's uh, recently won in Catalonia and in the Czech Republic. And shot a 300 game back in Ap April in Slovenia. So he is really getting around with his bowling clinics and coaching and tournaments. He finishes off with a strike for a fabulous 233 victory. Brian Voss then claims his place in the next match at the expense of fifth seed Jimmy Reves. One of the most successful pro players of all time is at it again. One down and three more to go if Brian wants to win the 888.com English Tempin Open title. It's a tough match.